But long commutes are just part of life in Houston, but traffic lights could be the way to cut down your drive time. That looks painful. I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> I, don't, I just want to ignore don't. it. All right, well, Michelle Choi <laughs> has a look at how it would work and if there's any chance this will actually get the green light. Do you ever feel like life is just flying by except when you're stuck in traffic at a busy intersection? Here, everything slows down. Well, good news. There's a team of researchers from Texas A&M working on getting you moving. Leading the research, Dr. Gandhi Sharon. Because if you have even one intersection within downtown Houston that operates badly, it can quickly propagate, the congestion can quickly propagate to the entire city. Don't we all know what that feels like? Right now, traffic lights at intersections are controlled by simple computers that tell it when to change colors depending on the time of the day and how traffic is flowing. The problem is... A lot of limitation with regards to the its power of, to, to actually optimally manage the intersection. On the other end, there are sensors and AI or artificial intelligence technology being used. And while it's great at gathering a lot of data, Dr. Sharon says it's unpredictable and hard to manage. So he and his team have come up with a self-learning system that combines AI technology and the traffic controllers currently used to cut down on intersection wait times. And over time it learns how to operate the the intersection more and more and more effective. They've even tested the ongoing research using simulations based on real world intersections. The result, wait times were reduced by nearly 20%. According to a 2019 report published by Texas A&M Transportation Institute, turns out the average commuter wastes 54 hours a year stuck in traffic. <sighs> That's way more than an entire work week. Add to that, road congestion led drivers to waste more than 3 billion gallons of fuel a year. Dr. Sharon says his self-learning technology is just a small part of a much larger traffic optimization picture. I will say that it's not a magic solution. Eventually, the cities are growing, the populations are growing, while the room for more infrastructure is, is, uh, is limited. It's why down the road he's hoping his research will get the green light and be set in real life motion. For H-Town Rush, I'm Michelle Choi.